Welcome and thank you for joining me for Distance Education Support for Families. This session, Reading the Map Family Report, is brought to you by the Assessment Department of the Clark County School District. My name is Christine Mamaradlo Rodriguez. I am a coordinator and I will be your presenter during this session. Mom and Dad, my teacher just emailed us directions on how to access my MAP family report. MAP? What is MAP? MAP is a test that shows what I'm ready to learn today. It also shows how I am doing compared to other students who are in the same grade and taking the same test. Look, there is a lot of information here on the top of the report. Why are you taking this test though? How does it help? My teacher can use my math test scores to make lessons that are just right for me. But that's not the best part. Let's get to the good stuff. My scores. First up is math, which is my favorite subject. On the left side is a graph that shows all of my scores, even the ones from last year. The line on the graph shows how much I'm growing. There's also a dotted line to show how most students in my grade are growing on this test. I like seeing my graph. It reminds me how every year on the first day of school, my mom and dad make a mark on my door to show how much I grew. That's how that works. Each time I take the test, it's like I get to make another mark on my graph. Then I set a goal and mark how I grew again. I can't wait to show my family how much I am growing. Next to my graph is my growth percentile. My teacher says that's a fancy word for comparing how much I have grown to all the other students in my grade level and how much they have grown. She said there are thousands of students in my grade level all over the United States who take math. My growth percentile is in the blue. That means I made more growth than most of the students in my grade level. That's fantastic. We are so proud of you. The report also shows all my scores for reading. My teacher said she is going to send a message to you to see if you have any questions or that you can always email her at her school email address. I don't think you need any help with coming up with questions because you already have so many. But just in case, there are some here on the second page of the report. There are also some links to websites with more information.